Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of One Earn on One Questions of SLT Students. So in my last video, I talked about the MSc programs available under SLT. So you can check the link in the bio in the description below to see the video. Now, today we are going to focus on four questions asked by students and we will read the questions and the responses that we're giving to those questions. So let's get down to it. The first question, the student was, Hello sir, please I need your advice concerning my course of choice. I am interested in energy and biofuel, but I'm trying to decide between bio biochemistry mm -hmm. or SLT. Which is more practical? If SLT, which specialization do you advise I take? I don't want to study a course where all I do is know too much. Hmm. Okay. So, he further portrayed and said that I am a 200 level student studying biochemistry proper currently and is interested in energy and biofuel. So, that is, is, is a biochemistry student doing SLT and bio, doing uh, energy and biofuel. But he doesn't know if BM biochemistry is the place for him. So he's seeking to move to another department and is considering science laboratory technology. So he needed my advice concerning this decision if he should go ahead or if he's mistaken by think um if he's, he's gonna make a mistake thinking his interest to be met in um SLT or if SLT is a better place for him. So if yes. Which specialization should you do under SLT and what should you venture into? So um the answer was practically genuine. So I was like, truthfully, I cannot give you a direct answer. Now you you, you said you are interested in energy and biofuel. Now, does the school offer the course? If yes, I will suggest you do the thing you really want. Biochemistry um but biochemistry the, and energy and biofuel are mm, a bit different a bit there are two different courses so if it was like biotech and biochem there is a relation so either one still takes you on a similar path but biochemistry and energy mm, are not quite similar so it's a question of what you really want do not worry about how or how much you make just open your mind you have a dream, you have your goal, and go work for the goal. So that was my response. But right now, I'm actually considering the answer. I'm like, okay, biochemistry and biofuel. So I don't know if there is a connection between biochemistry and biofuel. Uh, biotechnology, biochemistry. I think it's more biotechnology that connects with biofuel. Now, the second question is, after OND, that is ordinary national diploma does SA student do IT your response was pretty straightforward if it is a requirement by your school then it is compulsory for you to do the IT aside from that the experience is very very important for further studies and for the future so I always advise that students actually go and do the IT in the particular field you are interested in because these experiences are very important especially when you get into a labor market now the, the third question is is there any difference between slt and bachelor of science in laboratory technology so my response slt is science laboratory technology just like every other course it is taught in the university as Bachelor of SLT and the Polytechnic HND SLT. So, Bachelors of SLT are scientists, while HND SLT are technologists. So, I've explained this formally in one of my videos where I talk about um, scientists and technologies, HM, BSc SLT, and HND SLT. So, they convince sure that the technologies, the scientists, then we have the technologists, then we have the technicians, then we have the assistants. So that is it. Then, and lastly, number four. You say you have 
an SMD certificate in 2016. If I want to go for MLT, we have to start from the beginning. Mm, okay, so my answer, my response was pretty stressed. In Nigeria, there is M MLT, that is Medical Laboratory Technologies. There is MLS, Medical Laboratory Science, and there is SLT, Science Laboratory Technology. So for some universities, which I am not sure of, direct entry might work. But most times, you have to start again to do MLT or MLS. But most times, yes, you have to start all over again. Or sometimes, direct entry may work for you if you want to go from SLT into MLS. So that is that for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to tackle some other questions that have been asked by SLT students. Please click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.